Let us take few numerical. You can read the question from your screen. As you can see, the given vector field is the function of x, y and z. And the line along which the integration is required is from A to B, which is parallel to x axis. A is given as 1, 2, 2 and B is given as 3, 2, 2. So, this is the question. We want the line integration E dot dl from A to B. Now, my dear, we have seen the differential element or differential length in our electromagnetics. DL vector is given as dx ax plus dy ay plus dz az. But my dear, look carefully into the question. The line along which the path along which we want the integration is parallel to x axis. That means along the path of integration only x coordinate is changing. y and z coordinates are going to be constant. If we consider any dl from the line, if we consider any small part of the line, you will have y and z to be constants because this line is parallel to x axis. Only x is changing. As you can see from the question, x is changing from 1 to 3. y is remaining constant for any dl on the line at 2. z is also remaining constant at 2. So, what I am trying to say you, on our line of integration, on our path of integration, only one variable is changing, that is x. y and z are constants. So, you can integrate only with respect to x. So, from the equation of dl, we will only write dx ax and we will not write dy plus dz. We will only write dl as dx ax because our line of integration is parallel to x axis. So, my dear, here is your very important tip for the line integrations, for solving the line integrations. For line integration, along the path or along the line, we will have only one coordinate changing, one coordinate variable. Rest two are always constants and we modify dl according to that variable. For example, if in the question line is parallel to x axis, so you should only write dx ax. If line is parallel to y axis, then you should only write dy ay. x and z will be constants. If the line is parallel to z axis, you will only write dl as dz az. x and y going to be constants. So, this is how you should remember. Now, my dear question might be peaking in your mind. What would happen if line is not parallel to x, y or z axis? It is going somewhere in between the axis. Then what would happen? So, in that case, we adjust the line according to our need. This topic we will cover in detail when we will see Ampere's law or equations for work. But as if now, remember, for line integration along any path, only one coordinate is variable for which you have to write differential and rest two are always constants and it is applicable to every coordinate system for cylindrical also and for spherical also. So, let us come back to our problem. In our problem, the line or path is parallel to x axis. So, dl vector or differential will be only dx ax and if line is parallel to x axis y and z will be constants from the diagram you can see that y is constant at y equal to 2 and z z is constant also at z equal to 2 so you know e dot dl will come out as you can easily see from your screen e dot dl equal to x square y z dx we will put y equal to 2 and z equal to 2. So, we will get finally e dot dl equal to 4x square dx. Now, my dear, the last step. We have to put the integral sign with proper limits. 
once again i am telling you there is no need to put the limits for y and z we are integrating with respect to x that means we will only put the limits for x x is changing from 1 to 3 so lower limit will be 1 and upper limit will be 3 y and z we have already considered they are going to be constant and they we have already put into the functions so our final integration will look like as shown on your screen now my dear this is very familiar integration as you saw in the mathematics so you can easily solve and you can get the answer